which leads us very nicely to uh, the part of the show we call Talking in the Air. Honestly, Aaron Partridge couldn't make it up. Um, if you don't know by now, this is where we meet some unique, sometimes eccentric, always fascinating people from around the world by the magic of technology. Today, let's say hello to Dr Len Fisher in Bristol. Good morning to you, Dr Len. Oh, really good to meet you. Uh, really, really nice to talk to you as well. You're a scientist, and you've discovered something that could change our lives forever. Well, it's great the way that this story has taken off. Um, I started it because I was trying to work out some way of making science accessible, and this thing came along. Could I use physics to work out the best way to dunk a biscuit? And I thought, this is great. This shows how scientists think. I have to tell you, it also shows just how scientists can be rather dopey at times. Okay. And of course, if you don't get biscuit in for too long, uh, then what's going to happen in the end is your poor old biscuit's just going to flop over, fall in, and away it goes. Oh. Very, very sad. Don't, don't you just hate it when that happens? That's terrible, yeah. We wouldn't do that, though, that wouldn't we? So what you want to do is you want to work out the maximum time, the maximum time you can actually leave your biscuit in there. But the so that it soaks up the tea, generates the flavour. So I sat down and I did all, this, all the physics and... Obviously, what you want to do is to dip it, there we go, in and out fairly quickly. And if you do that, the outside gets wet, but the inside stays dry. And so it doesn't fall in. So I sat down and I started to work out equations and I started to do the measurements. And I worked out a whole series of biscuits, just how long you could dunk this. This is the dopey bit, incidentally. So I worked out a whole series of ways of doing it. Then I started to think laterally. And I thought, hang on, this is ridiculous. Why not change the way that we dunk? So instead of dunking it so that both sides of the biscuit get wet and you don't know how long the middle is staying dry, what you do with a fairly full cup of tea, you can practice this one, is just put it in like that, sideways. Come on, boys, we've got to have a go at this, see what, it looks, see what it's like. Yeah. Right, so how long do you leave... Hold on, no. I... It doesn't matter, you just keep watching. Oh, God, I've just lost the whole biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, no, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, he's lost it as well, there you go. If it's good enough for a scientist... <laughs> <laughs> that was rather dopey. Oh my god, it works though. Huh? The whole biscuit works, is it? soggy. That's it hasn't broken off into my tea. Oh, well, I'm gonna do this. oh, oh. No. oh. So, <laughs> does it work with chocolate biscuits? Today? Yeah, oh, well, actually, I'll ask the, I'll ask the, yeah. the scientist. Does it work with chocolate biscuits? So, there's, there's, there's the next thing. Here's a nice chocolate biscuit. Oh. And if you dunk a chocolate biscuit, of course, you can do it the same way, and then you're not wetting the chocolate, so you're not spoiling that. Ah. All very simple and very straightforward. We've got one of Britain's oh, greatest okay. actors proving the point now. <laughs> well, I'm going to try it my way, I think. Ah, <laughs> oh, you see, that's, yeah. You see, I'm getting a bit of splash. <laughs> oh, you're not getting splash, are you? You've moved too fast. <laughs> Right. You've moved too fast. Moved too fast. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Len, thank you so much You're for joining us. I've made a real pig's ear of this, but um, I'll probably eat it during the break anyway. <laughs> Keep practising, keep practising. Exactly. You see, gentlemen, if you hadn't turned no. up today, you'd not know about the maximum dunk. No. I can tell you're enlightened. Mm. Especially you. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm... Talk about not convinced. No, uh, if I you've am. got a secret skill, uh, an eclectic collection or a jaw-dropping job and you'd like to take part in We're Talking in the Air, then please do get in touch. It's weekend at IT.